Russian officials barred 391 hardcore yobs from games amid fears of attacks on rival fans. And Gray, whose son Stuart was attacked at last year's Euros, spoke as it emerged a government oversight will free dash hundreds of local yobs to cause havoc at next summer's tournament in Russia. Some 391 were barred from matches by Vladimir Putin's interior ministry. But 204 will have their restrictions removed in time for the competition. Ten more will be cleared to attend the later stages. AP colon Associated Press 8 Almost 400 were barred from football matches, but many bans expire before next year's tournament. Angry and 73 told of her horror at the bungle and urged mums, wives and girlfriends to stop their partners and sons going to Russia for the footy. Engineer Stewart 48, one of two England supporters left in comas by Red Army Yobs at Euro 2016, is thought to have been hit with a hammer on his way to a game in Marseille. It is thought unlikely the Leicester City fan will work again. Enterprise News and Pictures 8 Stuart Gray was left comatose after being hit with a hammer by the Red Army Yobs at Euro 2016 of Market Harbour, Leix, said, I've no faith in the Russian authorities being able to keep foreign fans safe. My advice is not to go, the hooligans are out of control. No England fan will be safe there. If people think it can't happen to them, they're wrong. Stuart wasn't wearing an NG Land shirt, but was set on in the street and left for dead. Close quote 8 Andre Volkov, 23, will be free to attend next year's games after being banned when a flare ignited on a train and added, It doesn't surprise me these hooligans will now be allowed in stadiums. The Russian government isn't serious about punishing them. HOW can they really care when they're refusing to extradite Stuart's attackers to France? The match ban bungle makes a mockery of President Putin's vow to deliver a safe World Cup. Russian footy hooligans promise war with England fans at World Cup 2018. 8 Valery Diomidov's ban for invading the pitch has already expired. His FSB secret police are said to have warned hooligan godfathers to reign in violent ultras. But some inquiries in Russia show the warnings will not be backed up by legally binding bans. And it is feared England fans could be targets after Russian thugs warned of unfinished business after Marseille. Eight Maxim Torrens banned for throwing a blazing shirt into a stand ends in February. A Moscow source said the hooligans were given bans deemed to match their offences. But authorities don't seem to have considered Russia's hosting the World Cup and they'll be free to go to games. It's not deliberate, it seems an oversight. Close quote 8 Andrei Avramenko swore at stewards, but will be cleared to attend the World Cup most read in news dash for the border boy, 12, 
found in car dashboard as OAP tries to smuggle him into Spain Black Monday 10,000 homes without power, schools closed and travel chaos across UK. He would have killed US or sons reveal fears after dad murdered their mum and sister snowed under all you need to know about school closures due to snow and what to do a true gentleman first pick of dad of three been man run over and killed by his own lorry cast claims Samantha Fox says David Cassidy sexually assaulted her in a toilet during shoot ex Labour sports minister Jerry Sutcliffe said given what's gone on with Russian fans these orders should stay in place for the tournament I hope the FA and FIFA will talk to Russian authorities on this. Close quote among yobs free to roam the footy show piece are Andrei Volkov, 23, banned after a flare ignited on a train, and Maxim Torin, 22, who hurled a blazing shirt into a stand. The Russian embassy did not respond to a request for comments. Point eight Roman Maximov's ban over a fake pass ends next month, 